Hello, hi, I'm Cryptic Hybrid, and this is Detective from the Crypt. Now, Detective from the Crypt is a point and click adventure game in which you play the ghost of a young woman called Jane who's investigating the death of her family. Now, this is a demo version of Detective from the Crypt. The full release is planned for later in 2021, but we do have a demo out on Steam, so we're gonna check it out together. New game. Yes. New game. Okay, that was <laughs> abrupt. Something bad happened to our family. The last thing I remember is the happy faces of my parents. Why did I wake up in the crypt? Why did my parents die? I don't remember the last day of my life. Okay. Maybe they were poisoned. Here lies Jane Dark Day. This is my coffin. From the outside the situation must look strange. Yeah, being a ghost, you know, looking at your dead body. Lady Dark Day, poor mother. Poor, poor mom. Oh, a letter from the grave, from a great grandmother? I can't even imagine her writing a letter there, because she's long turned into a skeleton. However, I am a ghost myself, but I'm talking like a living one. What's this? A letter from great grandmother. Find Pulcheria. Or Pulcheria? Pulcheria? Let's see Pulcheria. She knows a lot and will help you. Take the cemetery candle. The candle from the cemetery has special properties. If its light changes color, then there is a secret passage or treasure nearby. So we have to find someone to help us. My great grandmother is buried here. Okay, let's take this. The candle. Now, here's a coffin of some ancestor. He's been lying here so long that even the inscription doesn't tell me anything. So I guess this is the family crypt. And we're just the latest, like me and uh, my mom, we're just the latest additions. Okay, sorry, and my dad too. Lord Dark Day, father looks so sad. Oh, he's dead. So. Here lies my cousin who died of measles as a child. The memory of it sends shivers down my spine. By the way, the game is set in Victorian time, so, you know, dying from measles, that actually happened. My grandmother is buried here. My grandfather is buried here. Okay. Oh, we gotta go out. A safe coffin with a bell. If you are buried alive, you need to hold out until help arrives. The graves are equipped with special pipes for air supply and bells. If an imaginary dead man pulls the rope, the bell on his grave will ring. The, bell ring, the bells ring quite often, but for some reason no one has risen and come out of the grave. It turns out that restless souls are ro uh, ringing bells. Each of them has something left to keep him here. This is Dr. Oldbeard's grave. The bell rings on this grave especially depressing. I remember the old doctor. He was very kind. Maybe I can help him with something. Dr. Oldbeard, can you hear me? Yeah, he's here, look. Hello, doctor. Hello, Miss Jane. Of course, it is very unfortunate that you died at such a young age, but I am still glad to see you. I hope you breathe new life into this depressing place. You look very tired, Doctor. Uh, unfortunately, even ghosts want to be treated by me and do not listen to any objections. They think they're in pain. All the pain, of course, is phantom, but patients still come to me. Some are especially persistent. Mrs. Jones' coughing, for example, keeps all the cemetery awake. She had consumption and although she died, she continued to cough out of habit all night long. She had consumption. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's a mistake in, uh, in writing? I don't have time to make sleeping pills for everyone. Uh, what to do? I can't offer her other lungs because I'm just a doctor. And besides, dead. Poor doctor. I'm so sorry. Are there many ghosts here? Oh, you can get to know them yourself. Many appear. One has only to touch the bell. Only the mason is very unsociable. 
uh, he won't just come out of his grave. He, we last saw him at the party. He likes to eat candy. Well, when I was a child, I was scared of ghosts, and now I'm one of them. Well, some ghosts are quite angry and dangerous to the living and the dead. Beware of them. Okay, Doctor, thank you. Let's see what we got. All Mrs. Brown is buried here. Her husband often comes to her grave. The poor guy hasn't been feeling very well lately. Shoo, shoo, fly away! Shut up. Shut up, crow. <laughs> it's pretty cool that you just ring the bells and they come. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, young lady. Could you help me, please? Yes, of course. What can I do for you? Oh, Miss Jane, that horrible bird sits here all the time. She's attacking the little birds that used to fly to my grave to sing. I like their singing so much, and now they don't fly here at all. I tried to chase the crow away, but it's not scared of anything at all. Okay, I'll try to figure something out. Thank you. I'm relying on you, dear. Yeah, I'll find a way. So this is my family here. Uh, what else do we have? Okay. My journal and my backpack. My ghostly backpack. Doesn't have anything in it. The grave of the inventor. They say that he was plaguing his failures during his life. Hmm. Hello. Hello, mister. The weather is so nice today. Uh, I haven't been happy about anything for a long time. When I was alive, I was unlucky myself and brought misfortune to others. I was an inventor, and the last thing I remember was an explosion in my laboratory. Then, oh, uh, then not only did I suffer, but also my assistant, although he survived. So all my life I brought people only trouble and problems, and after death, little has changed. For example, a watchman slipped on my grave and twisted his ankle just yesterday. Uh, he would always be so. But once I wanted people to visit my grave and remember me saying kind words. Okay, goodbye. What's here? Greedy Bride. So this is another uh, mausoleum type of, you know, just a grave. Uh, once upon a time, a noble family lived in these parts. Their daughter, Henrietta, loved jewelry most in the world. Noble gentlemen offered her a hand and a heart, but she rejected everyone, considering them not rich enough. Yeah, I ain't saying she a gold digger. One of her admirers was in love with her, and she um, uh, reciprocated, but when a richer uh, contender appeared, she broke off the engagement. Because she's a gold digger. The rejected lover committed suicide, but he cursed her before dying. Wow. Wow, someone lost a jaw here. Vladislav Borgias. That name doesn't mean anything to me. Well, I guess you don't know every ghost around here, right? Jesus, what happened here? Skeletons and bones are scattered everywhere. What happened here? I don't know. Jane, I'm asking the same question. Uh... Oh, what the hell? Oh, I fell into the... Whoa, what the... F Is this the bride? A shovel. Okay. Can you use a shell on you? I feel like this jewelry hidden somewhere in the cemetery. Bring them to me or you'll regret it. O okay, but let me go. If you don't bring the jewelry, I'll curse you. Oh, even even after death she's obsessed with jewelry. Jesus. Where are my jewels you promised to bring? Okay. Jesus. Okay, so she's down here. Okay, okay, so we need to find some jewelry for her. Jesus. Okay, we got the shovel, so that's that's our first item. Hey! Hey, would you like to listen to music, miss? You're probably very fond of music if you play even after death. 
I swore that I would become a famous musician and make a lot of money. Only when my talent is appreciated, I will return to my homeland. Okay. So he's here because he's a... Uh... Ooh, swamp. The location is not available in the demo. Okay, so we can't go to the swamp. Would you like to listen to some music? No. Not really. Can I dig up graves? Oh, I can maybe hit the bird? No. I can't use the shovel. I mean, I should be able to use the shovel on the bird. Right? Oh, the candle changes color. There's a secret passage or treasure near here. Okay. Hmm, they've been digging here recently. The soil in this place is loose. Maybe we can dig it up? Yeah, there we go. I don't know how I'm using the shovel because I'm a ghost, but okay. Excellent! I found a treasure box. I'm sure these jewels are from our, from our house. I often saw them. Why are they buried in the cemetery? Maybe I can give the, the treasure to the... to the bride. A mason is buried here. They say that his bride was a maid and one day she disappeared. They said that she ran away with a footman from our house. The mason was very upset and withdraw into himself. It seems that even now his ghost does not communicate with others, but sits in the grave and doesn't go anywhere. Oh, he's here. Hello. Silent. Goodbye. So he doesn't talk. Okay, we'll make him talk. Mrs. Jones is buried here. Oh, hello Mrs. Jones, how are you feeling? Oh, don't ask, just awful. This cough drives me crazy. For many nights I've been torture it's been torturing me from dusk till dawn. The doctor prescribed medicine to me, but it doesn't help at all. Oh, okay, goodbye, take care. How can I take care? If it's just a constant torment? But you're a ghost, you don't feel pain. It's all in your ghostly head, I guess? Dark day. Well, dark day is my... Let's see here. A four-leaf clover for good luck. Nice. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can give it to, to the inventor. Because he's, you know, unlucky. There's something written on the statue, but it's impossible to read. The letters are very small. Okay, cat statue. Another crow. Jesus. I can't get to the door. The invisible barrier won't let me in. Invisible barrier? Huh. Okay. Oh. I get into the basement though. Oh, the candle changes colors. There's a secret passage or treasure near here. Oh, the brickwork in this place is different from the rest of the wall. Maybe there's a treasure hidden here. Okay, I don't have the shovel to use though. Uh, I'm gonna have to find another tool probably. Yeah, there's a lot of barrels. Ooh, and another box. A box of chocolates! Okay, who would like some chocolates? Mm. Oh no, who would like chocolates? I can't go inside. The invisible barrier won't let me in. Salt is scattered on the steps. I need to remove it somehow, but I'm too weak to break the spell. Well, anything... okay, nothing new. All right, so okay, let's go to the cemetery and give the four-leaf clover. Let's let's try that. Maybe give the um, the jewels to the to the bride, to the skeleton bride, and then the chocolates. Well, Mrs. Jones probably wouldn't want them. 
Maybe we can give them to the crow and the crow is gonna leave? Alright, let's try that. Well, first, first the clover. Oh, sorry. Because maybe the ghosts are gonna give us something, right? I mean, these seem to be missions, so... You will now have a four-leaf clover growing on your grave. Luck will come back to you and people will come here to be luckier. Oh, thank you very much, miss. That's it? I feel much better, thanks. Are you kidding me right now? You're not gonna do anything? Alright, I guess we're gonna deal with this. I don't want to give our family jewels to the greedy bride. I don't believe she's going to let me go, but I don't want to get a curse. Hmm. Hey, dude. You want some jewels? Uh, what kind of box is this? Our venerable family loves jewels and will give you any amount for them. Hmm. Oh, one venerable family. Uh, well, if they do not fulfill their promises, then at least you can play them. They never leave the crypt and will appreciate your music. Besides, the crypt has excellent acoustics. Mm, yeah, I really need an audience that doesn't run away. Everyone here is such a, in such a hurry, they can't even listen to one melody. I hope the piper's going to be fine and I don't have to get him out of trouble. Wait, but... <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. So the... I guess the bride doesn't like the back bagpipes? Thank you. The crypt inhabitants were so impressed that they sang along with me and gave me a lot of money. Did they give you money or did you take it? Like, now I'm rich, I can go to my homeland. Good luck and have a good trip. So what, that's it? He's just gonna go? I hope the monster is pleased. I have no desire to talk to him. Well, her. Okay, so... <laughs> that was a little bit... Um, a little bit disappointing. With both ghosts. Okay, let's try this. It won't work. Okay, maybe if I call the lady. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oh, he likes he, sweets, right? Then there was wasn't that? There we go. Right? It said that he, either his wife or fiance, whatever, his girlfriend likes sweets or he likes sweets. Anyway, what do you want, miss? There's something hidden in the wall of the cellar. I need your help. Help me take the, apart the wall. Okay, I'm coming. Well, he didn't speak to anyone until now, and okay, and now he's being very helpful. Maybe this game is a little bit more dialogue with the characters, because it's it seems like it's very it's very blunt, you know. The interactions seem quite, you know simplistic you need to talk maybe more maybe you know get to know them better have more of a conversation like actual past humans i guess let's see what's hidden here there can be anything in such all wall oh my god there's a dead body in the wall hello my beloved david mary is that you i thought you ran away with the footman I've always on, uh, loved only you. The footman chased me and killed me when I refused to date him. Uh, from now on we will always be together, my dear Mary. Miss Jane, I owe you my release. What can I do for you? Butler George is very suspicious and he put salt on the doorsteps at the, uh, at the, on the, do at the door. Okay, doorsteps at the door, anyway. I can't get through the barrier. Can you help me get rid of the salt? I'm the maid of this house, and no spells can st uh, spells can stop me from performing my duties. I have to make sure it's clean here. Thank you. 
Oh, she's she's so helpful even after death. It's a pre it's pretty disturbing though know, that she was buried in the freaking wall. Now I can go inside. Nice. Inside my own house, by the way. A magnifying glass. Nice. And what's this? Milk. The mason loves sweets. Probably some of the ghosts love milk. Yeah. Pretty big kitchen. This is behind. Go back and right. Right. It's not like I can wash or anything. But maybe I can use use the water later on. Can I get anything here? Uh, oh, someone has to be pushed in that oven. Lots of plates. Nothing seriously. Okay. The location is not available in the demo. Okay, so we can't get uh, maybe in the living room or anything. Okay. But we did get two items. So, got the mag. Okay, the magnifying glass I can use uh, on the statue, right? The, the one with the small letters, the, the cat statue. Outside. So, this is my my home or was my home maybe i would and i guess maybe my whole family was killed here since you know the last thing i remember was i guess sup supper maybe we're all poisoned by someone from the house someone we trusted what the hell where's the this is weird Was on there. Oh, that was weird. The, the statue disappeared. Huh. Odd. Okay. Anyway. All right. Let's look. It says here that is Pulcheria. Oh, this is Pulcheria. It turns out that Pulcheria is a, is great uh, is my great grandmother's cat. Okay, Pulcheria. You want some milk, kitty kitty? Hello, my name is Pulcaria. And you, I suppose, Jane? Your great-grandmother told me about you. If you don't know what to do, ask me. I'll help. Alright. There's nothing more to do here. Oh, she could scare the... The, the crow. Come on. Come on, Pulcaria. I need your help. You have completed the demo. Oh, that's it. Come on. That was it. There's nothing more to do here. Yeah, I bet that was it. I, I bet I bet that's what you can do. I bet you can use the cat to scare the crow and that's how you help uh, the ghost here. Mrs. Brown. Come on, little Come on, cat. Why don't you Okay, so it doesn't work, but that was it everyone, that was the demo version of Detective from the Crypt. Hopefully you got an idea of how the game is. I mean, it seems a bit a bit rough, and hopefully there's gonna be, you know, a lot more polished in the full build, but again, you know, the game is coming later this year, it seems at least, so, you know, there's, there's time to improve on the dialogue, maybe on the interactions in general. But, uh, I mean, it looks lovely, it's an interesting concept, uh, it's, it's an intriguing story because, you know, a whole family doesn't just die all of a sudden, so I'm guessing someone plotted and we have to uh, figure out what, uh, who, who did that and why, and maybe take revenge on them, you know, get them buried, I don't know, get them, I don't know tortured or something but uh, that's for the full release for now that was everyone if you're interested in the game you can wishlist it 
on Steam. Just see the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick. And if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be actually immensely, immensely helpful if you could subscribe. Tell other people about the channel. Spread the word. Check out the back catalog too. Check out uh, YouTube and BitChute at the very least. YouTube.com slash CryptoHybrid and BitChute.com slash CryptoHybrid to see the cool games that I cover. And um, after that, please take just half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me financially so I can continue doing gaming coverage and more for a very long time. You can either give me a direct donation through PayPal, there's a PayPal link in the description, or you can use the PayString link also in the description to donate cryptocurrency. You can also donate basic attention tokens, bats, if you use the Brave browser. Uh, and you check out any video of mine on YouTube or any post that I make on Twitter at Cryptic Habit, follow me there. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, there's also affiliate links if you buy anything from the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store or Fanatical, just use those. Uh, for the Epic Store, there's a uh, creator tag, you know, whenever you buy anything from those stores, use them, use the links or the creator tag, and you're not gonna pay anything extra for the stuff that you buy, you're just gonna tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend there you can also you know uh, buy me a coffee through the buy me a coffee link in the description but uh yeah enough plugging thanks again for watching everyone that was detective from the crypt and until the next time we see each other i don't know just be careful what you eat especially if there's a family dinner you know have someone to taste your food because yeah it's uh crazy stuff can happen and yeah have an awesome day